Taurus gang? Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. My name's Annie. We're going to read your tarot cards here. A little untraditional uh, <laughs> thing going on here today. I was rearranging furniture, so I'm kind of, I've pinned myself into a corner, but it's one I can film in, so you're going to get this version of me today. I hope that's cool. All right, let's connect with Taurus's energy. This will be a general message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please come into it with an open heart, an open mind, a desire to better yourself. And if the messages that come through don't resonate with you, Taurus, feel free to release them. Um, push them out of your way, um, but maybe put them on a shelf and revisit them at a later date um, because the messages may make sense to you at a later time, okay? Let's do it. Ooh, the Empress, love it. You are accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Taurus. I know the setup is weird because you guys can't see the cards again. It's temporary, so just roll with me on this one. We'll be back to the, the normal spread next week. <clears throat> All right, you got a whole bunch here. Uh-oh, I see the devil. What's going on? All right, four of swords, seven of coins, the ten of wands, strength, and the devil. You're beating the devil, though, with strength. I'm hearing, like, let me be seen. Like, there's something about facing your fear about not being seen or about not being in the sunlight or the spotlight. Yeah, some of you, there's there's an opportunity for you to move forward, but it requires you to be very strong and brave. Um, and so you're facing your fears. It, the key here is it's requiring you to be very vulnerable, uh, to sort of shed the ego and just present and show up as you are. I remember was getting like the idea of shedding the snake skin. So you're you're raw, you're vulnerable. It, there's something about it you feel kind of new to this world or almost like an out of body experience, um, but good. You should absolutely move forward with this because if you were to not move forward with it, you're staying stuck and, and it does have to do with fear or maybe something to do with an addiction issue or an abuse of power with the devil. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. This is Elemental Wisdom Tarot and it's such a beautiful deck. It's new. I used it for the first time with Virgo the other day. So you guys are the second one to, to get to see it. But yeah, uh, Leo and Capricorn are featured strongly here too. Uh, so Leo being a fellow fixed zodiac sign. Yeah, there's some maintaining your essence, maintaining your light and and allowing it to shine unapologetically or not dimming your light uh, in order to make other people feel more comfortable or to fit in with the crowd. You're meant to be bold and stand out. It's been a long road having to carry the burdens or shoulder the burdens of other people. And I, I think you're just done. You've earned this enjoyment or this ability to feel at, at home and at ease and relaxed in your own skin. Um, yeah celebrating yourself, your body, your value. Um, and some of you, because you're raising your idea of, of your the value you have within, it's like you're upping your game in the external world around you. So some of you are gonna find yourself in a very fortuitous position money-wise. I don't know if it's a new job or acquiring money. And, and in, I'm almost wanting to say in some sort of unknown or bizarre way. So I have a feeling for some of you, this hasn't transpired yet because it starts with like this internal shining of your light. Um, but yeah, there's something where money money presents a, an avenue or an opportunity uh, in the coming weeks or months. And it has a lot to do with what you're willing to release because it doesn't serve its purpose anymore. Or you've simply outgrown it. It doesn't have a place in your life anymore. So it's, it's an uphill battle, right? The more you choose to hold on to this negativity or the past or the people who've kept you down who say, you don't deserve to shine, you're not worth it, you're not good enough, all, all that kind of like negative bullshit. You've, you've carried it or you've been saddled with it or strapped with it for a long time. Maybe it's having to pull extra shifts at work that really don't pay you enough to survive or live. You reach a point where it, you're just like, you're tapped out. I'm hearing like I'm done, but it doesn't mean you're done with life. You're you're done carrying this torch for this person because there's something to do with karma here. It's like this person has to shoulder whatever that they've been pushing onto you. Maybe it has to do with an ex or again, a, a, a fellow colleague or however you want to say it. Yeah, you're entering into a new uh, chapter of rest and relaxation and prosperity. Four of Swords, you're going to be sleeping easy at night, Taurus. You're going to be sleeping well. Um, and then you have the Empress. That was the first card out of the deck. So this is you, Taurus. This is you honoring and respecting yourself. And this is a Taurus card. It's very heavy in Venus energy. So Venus representing internal balance, self-respect, harmony. There's a diplomacy and an ease here about how she interacts with people because she, I'm hearing the word essence, the essence is very strong. Um, she knows her value, she knows her worth. She doesn't accept less than she deserves. And I'm saying she simply because it's the Empress, but for all you, uh, those who don't identify as female, or this could easily be you as well, you've accomplished something. I'm kind of seeing like a Michelle Pfeiffer vibe in her. Who I, is she a Taurus? 
Ooh, interesting. I think she might be. Will somebody Google that and look it up? I think Michelle Pfeiffer might be a Taurus. I see that when I look at this card. I don't know why that's coming through, but maybe there's someone out there named Michelle, right? I like Four of Swords here because it is a card about expressing gratitude. It follows the Three of Swords, so indicating, yeah, it has not been all sunshine and roses. You've had to you've had to go to war, you've had to go to battle for something, but it's for your self-respect, it's for your dignity. And so once you reach the top of this hill and you're like, I don't, I don't need this anymore. It has to do with proving it to yourself, not to anyone else, not seeking validation or approval in, in anything external to yourself. That's what allows you to sleep easy at night or sleep peacefully um, because you are a tremendous worker. You've put in a ton of work and effort into something. I would say it didn't yield the results you thought it was going to or it didn't pay off in the initial way you wanted or desired, but it actually worked out in a much better way because what you got from this is was is was what you got from this was the illumination of your own integrity your own self-worth so enjoy that sleep peacefully at night um symbolically after the three of swords it's sort of about like going to battle and then in the traditional rider weight deck you've probably heard the story it's like symbolically the soldier lies down in the coffin that was meant for him had he not survived the battle or had he not come back from the war right just again for that moment of gratitude of appreciation of my life could have gone a very very different way but because i i put in the work and effort and i chose to sort of defy the odds or expectation or go against what was told i was going to become this is where it's like your your vision opens up <laughs> maybe it's your third eye too there, there's like an illumination or an epiphany of all that's meant for you that you haven't even started to envision yet but something about that starts here with the empress because you've acquired a lot of dignity and self-respect i like that very much let me give you an oracle card maybe we'll do one more we'll talk about maybe love but yeah honor that empress vibe that feels awesome Yeah, there, there might be an ending in your life with some sort of joint partnership, whether it was a divorce or ending something in, in a career or I don't know. And there is a liberation from something that was keeping you stuck on a more mental level. So if mental health issues have been something you've been struggling with, the release of whatever this is, it helps bring order and peace back to your mind. All right, here we go. All right, what oracle card? These are personal power oracles. They're really cute. They look like little Cinderella mirrors, right? How cute is that? I release what doesn't serve me. Well, that's, oh, can you guys see that? Sorry, the lighting is a little bit funky. Can you see that? What if I put it against the dark? All right, just take my word for it. <laughs> we'll see if we can get one to pop out for you. That does seem fitting though. Yeah, you're un unshackling yourself. There's liberation and freedom from something or someone one that was something or someone that was holding you back. I am safe, absolutely. <clears throat> There's a strong cancer energy to that card too. Um, so some of you may, I don't know, some of you may seek friendship or, or solace in the arms of a cancer. That could be romantic or it could be a best friend. It could be your mother, father, et cetera, et cetera. Let's see. And then I am happy. Look at cute little, cute little freckles on her face. That seems very Taurus. <laughs> I just, I love this card. It's so cute. All right, I am happy, I am safe. Let's give them one more confirmation for Taurus, for Taurus. You're smirking too. So understandably, some of you have been through a really life-changing experience recently and you might still sort of be recovering or sort of like catching your breath. Almost like if you ran a relay race, there's like a, like, you know what I mean? Like keeled over, gripping the table, just like you, you're fine. You know you've made it, you're safe. It's not like an anticipation of attack. It's just like, I gotta recuperate a second. Like I just gotta, I gotta ground myself, right? Taurus energy, I gotta kind of get my bearings again. Give that time, be uh, patient to yourself, be, be pleasant to yourself, I'm hearing, be pleasant, be kind to yourself, right? Give yourself time and, uh, and, and, and sacred space to sort of do this recuperation or healing in, in a way that feels private, if, if that's what you require, and, and productive, right? Um, and by productive, I just mean something that's good for you, not where you're having to recuperate while tending to the needs of the kids and the husband. And like, make sure it's, it's you time. It's productive for your self-healing. Anyway, there's, there's something about a smirk here where you look back and you were like, there's a tremendous sense of pride. It's actually making me kind of smile because it's this, something that seemed unimaginable or unreachable or impossible. There's, a, yeah, it's just like, you're so proud of yourself. Look, look at the hair too. Are you guys seeing this? Completely different decks. If this is what you look like, those of you watching on YouTube land, if you know a person who looks like this, confirmation, this is your message. 
How, like, that's just amazing. Look at those beautiful locks. <laughs> Some of you may have a best friend that, that has very strong Cancer or Leo vibes there. Uh, and again, this could be you too. Is your best friend Michelle Pfeiffer? No, I'm just kidding. That would be so cool though if it was. <laughs> All right, one more. I am happy. Yeah, you're going to look back at this and I'm not going to say laugh because clearly it, it was huge. This was like you, you accomplished the unimaginable, but you're going to look back and you're going to, you're going to have a tremendous sense of pride and it's going to serve you in the future. It's really, uh, given your confidence a, a boost, you're going to go out into the world with sort of this newfound perspective and peace of mind about what it is that you want to accomplish next. <clears throat> All right. These aren't speaking to me. Do I get one more? I am good enough. Aren't these cute? All right, little confirmations. All right, let's get you one more quick reading on love <clears throat> for Taurus. And thanks for bearing with me. I know this is a weird way to read because you guys don't even get to see the cards, but <clears throat> anywho, anywho, I see the lovers. Hopefully it's not a third party. Taurus, Taurus, lovers of the three of pentacles. Let's see. All right, let's aim high. Let's shoot for, for good messages. Let's connect to those who are on a, a good vibrational level curious about their love life. Here we go. For Taurus, split the deck. Eight of swords. Come on now. What are you being liberated from? Mm, your wish fulfillment. Okay, someone who promised you the world but didn't deliver. This is someone who likes to appease you by being like, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll get it someday, babe. We'll do it someday. But they don't get off their ass and do it. So this is about not putting people on a pedestal of, oh, they're going to be my knight in shining armor. They're going to save me. Ooh, this is this is strong. Are you ready for this? This is about saving yourself. This is not, not about putting your fate and destiny in the hands of anyone else. You have to take ownership and accountability for it. Um, and a lot of you, you are maintaining a relationship because you... It's like you put this other person on a pedestal because they had all these qualities, but the thing is, you it wasn't good for the universe for you to just sit there and admire them and, and support this person, whether it was financially, emotionally, and maybe it was all those things, but this was about seeing it and then mirroring it. You know, all those, all those positive qualities that you liked and you were like, well, I don't have them in my life, so I'm going to marry it, so at least it's in my life somehow. Universe is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, you can have all those things, but you have to go out there and get them yourself. It's not about... Um, <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> what is that from? Um, Parks and Rec. John Ralphio. Do you guys know that show? Money, please. It's just like rich and rich entitled, like, you know, crazy teenagers. And I'm not at all saying that's you guys. I, I meant that to be humorous. So I hope I hope I didn't offend anyone out there. But yeah, something that you were admiring in other people, the universe says you can have this too. Why do you think you can't? Why do you think you can't, Taurus? Ace of Cups and Two of Cups. Yeah, you have new love coming in. Um, and remember that you are going to um, attract whatever the vibe is that you put out there. So put out the vibe that, that you want to attract. Put out the best version of yourself so that you meet people who are on a similar track. And it's not about being perfect, right? It's very much about owning your flaws and, and working with them. Again, that, that sense of I am good enough, you know? I may have been to hell and back, but I'm here and I'm showing up and I'm doing it and I'm doing the things that scare me the most. That's really important because ultimately that's the pathway to your wish fulfillment. All right. Anything else? Horses want to know about that ace of cups. What can I tell them? Virgo, you got Virgo energy. What is this hermit shining his lantern on? It, there might be a small period of independence of uh, dating yourself. Um, but okay, interesting. It's going to lead you to your soulmate. For some of you, they're already in your life, especially if it's a Virgo, possibly an Aries. You have a very strong soulmate in your life. There's there's a warmth they provide you. You may also look to this person as some sort of guidance or, or um, a, 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 sorry, a as offering you great guidance or being a strong mentor in your life, this person might literally be a teacher um, or a professor of some kind. Um, that could also be you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a light being shed on your independence of uh, really watching your codependence and your need or desire to be with someone just for the sake of, of needing to be with them. Um, that almost seems more like leaning too far into your Op oppositional signs, Scorpio, which is all about sort of the merging of bodies and identities and bank accounts, but you may lose yourself in the process of that. So remember that there is power in being able to stand on your own two feet. Nothing wrong with asking for help for, um, you know, being a good friend and, and accepting help from others, right? That in itself is very important, being able to accept help, but not giving up on your own dreams or desires simply for the purpose of, you know, being someone's rock. Well, I got you, babe. I'll do anything for you. That's, you know, admirable to a certain extent, but not if you're giving up on your own wishes and dreams and happiness. Um, 
Yeah, some of you, some of you are going to embark on a new uh, journey of creativity. You may uh, honor your inner child in a sense with this card here. Um, you may go back to some sort of skill or hobby or passion or project or just a game, something you used to do in your youth that brought you a lot of fun. It's going to reawaken this sort of fun side that, you know, understandably you maybe had to put on the back burner because life was not sunshine and rainbows all that long ago. However, again, you're, you're turning the corner into a very good chapter. These cards are amazing. You have to decide what is your wish fulfillment? What is it that you want in this lifetime? And, and make a practical plan, Taurus, Earth Energy. I don't have to tell you because you will anyway, but make a practical plan of how you're not going to go after it. Not just sit and wish and shoulda, coulda, woulda, and wouldn't it be nice? Yes, it would be nice. So go, do it, build it, right? One, say action. Take Put energy into it. Take action on it. Yeah, two of cups. There is absolutely energy for new love here if that is what you are seeking and what you are desiring, Taurus. Um, you had Leo come up twice. Um, again, the Empress has a lot of Venus energy, so that could be any sign. Um, but it's very strong Libra and Taurus energy. We got our Virgo, our Virgo man or woman showing up here, shining their lantern on you. Wisdom and warmth. I really love that. And this is a card of soulmates. Um and, and celebrations, small milestones and victories. Maybe it's just in your personal life, right? Maybe it's hanging out with family and allowing them to take care of you while you sort of reorient yourself and get your game plan together. All right, Taurus babes, that's what I got for you. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.